always fun. And like barrel dice. Well, some of them are sort of like anti-prism. Yeah, like the 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 two names I hear them called are either crystal dice or barrel dice, depending on how fancy you want to be. Uh, we want to be real fancy because we're on stream. Ha <laughs> ha! I remember no. to draw a cat. It's fine. <laughs> I haven't yet because I was still getting things brought I up. I actually have like. Wow, what's happened? The turns have tabled. The, the turns have tabled. There's dice upset you. There are lots of different dice. Lots of different shapes that have equal chances of landing on a face. That's all you need. Ah! <laughs> this has discovered a screaming emote. <laughs> oh yes, you're fat. Uh, at the 1932 Olympics, the steeplechase lasted eight and a half laps instead of the usual seven and a half because the officials lost track of how many times the runners had been round. That's very fun, <laughs> but also incredibly dumb. Well, runners. I had scream, but you woke up sounding like a teenage boy going through puberty. Oh no! Illnesses. Like puberty. <laughs> what even is counting? I don't know. Yeah, it's fake. It's um... made up by mathematicians. Oh yes, and you can't trust them. Exactly. I mean... To a certain extent, yeah. Yeah, so don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Should it be a long boy? That like, it looks a lot like long boy, to be fair. <laughs> uh, let's get some background music. How do I make okay. it more long boy? <laughs> uh, Wasn't my intention to make it long boy, but... <laughs> long, long... Too long. Uh, the big eyes looking everywhere. <laughs> like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, to, to to borrow a phrase from uh, Sean Locke, uh, one eye going to the shops, the other coming back with the change. <laughs> there we go. Long boy sorted. <laughs> oh, dice cat. Now that's a Catalan <laughs> solid. Uh, oh my god, Christy, that one's so cute. <laughs> it's cute. It does. <laughs> Wait till you see my reference image. <laughs> it looks so spooked. <laughs> yeah, let's get the thing up now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Where's your that's head? That's like adorable. I, 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 like, I love it. I, I love the little, hus the little husky cat. <laughs> yeah, the husky cat is amazing. <laughs> Him face so big. <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh I got it today, but apparently it's adorable. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. You can have adorable nightmares. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, things can be many things. Things can be many things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of things being many things, we have generators. Uh, yeah, specifically, so specifically a fantasy crossbreed generator. I don't exactly. I haven't had yeah. time to look at it, so. <laughs> this is what I interpreted it as. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That, that's your fantasy crossbreed. I see. Yeah. Getting into the that spirit. That makes of sense. It. Yeah.
though it looks like most of the descriptions, at least the ones that I have popped up, only mention one half. So I guess you get to make up the other half. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was fun ones, like a half satyr, uh, which is just really funny to me. <laughs> like half gargoyle, that's a fun one. <laughs> some, some interesting ones here. <laughs> Oh, the Dark is trapped in his worst nightmare. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> trapped on the bus waiting for a Christmas parade to go by. <laughs> Which half of the satyr? I don't know. <laughs> it's a half satyr. <laughs> you, you get to choose. I, I got to choose get to... <laughs> which parts of Tori were bull. <laughs> you, you get to choose. Yeah, is Tori a half minotaur? <laughs> It's a half bull. I mean, there was, there was a comic floating around where you've got like this person at a like a monster support group type thing, and a woman comes in, and it's like, like, what are you like? Look, it looks like a human woman, and it's like, what are you like? You don't belong. He's like, oh no, no, you see, I'm, 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 uh, what was it? Half minotaur, half mermaid. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure. You're, you got your hu human legs from. Your minotaur parent and your upper torso from your mermaid parent, sure, whatever. And it's like, actually, well, yeah, actually. And it's like, you don't belong. He's like, I'm not here for me. I'm here to drop off my brother. <laughs> and then it pans over to a gentleman with a bull upper half and a fish tail in a wheelchair <laughs> that she is helping get through the door. And it's like, yeah, I'll come pick you up later. And she walks out and she, you see she's also got like a... a um oxtail in the back because minotaur <laughs> Tori is a minotaur hence the name because <laughs> I'm very unimaginative <laughs> I didn't get that until this moment <laughs> it just you know he's got hoof hands and normal feet <laughs> it's fine don't worry about which it which is very upsetting no tail as well, Jim. I like that in the generator, you can have a descriptor that's dependent on medication. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what they're using as sort of their database for how things get pulled from and descriptions are made, so who knows? Who knows? We'll see what nonsense gets pulled up. Speaking of who, who wants to go first? You. Me, me yeah. I want to go first. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a choice I made. Cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's your choice. You want to go first. Well, I I will use the prompt that Christie's put in the chat already. So why not? It's there. Um, and it's weird. We have what is it? Uh, introverted, seasoned. I with the salt and pepper. Male, half wyvern guard. Okay, does the GP gonna have to go over with what what a wyvern is specifically? <laughs> Um, who is Wyvern. dependent? Who is dependent on medication? He has it's a masculine all build. All made up. It's all made up. Um, his wardrobe is unconventional. Rules. <laughs> <laughs> he so appears I human, but has the personality and habits of his non-human ancestor. Uh, roosting. <laughs> I mean, that is already implying he is half human, half wyvern, which is not specified in the. Initial sentence. <laughs> is this appears human? <laughs> or I guess there's a magical thing, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of... Um, could go a third thing. I mean, I'm willing to just ignore that sort of line, because it's just kind of like, oh, I'm just going to draw a man. This is this is just going to be supernatural demons and monsters, where do they just look like a man? Mm. It's like, this is Leviathan, and it's just some white dude. But yeah, a wyvern has two legs and a set of wings. And no, it doesn't have four legs like a dragon does. 
Right. So it's not an insect. No. Is a dragon not an insect? If you want to get people no. really mad, it's fun <laughs> to say that they are. Yeah, if you want to get people mad, probably. But also, I say no. <laughs> I don't think everything that has six it's... legs is an insect. Insects have six legs, but I don't think the reverse is true. Yeah. No, it's not. It's just really funny <laughs> to say stuff like that and make people mad. Because then also you've got centaurs or insects. Yes. Yeah, I still just generally don't like that phrase. Because <laughs> um, I... That was like a Tumblr post at one point, and I just remember our horrid little picture of centaur insects. Like, a centaur, but like, kind of like insect limbs which I wasn't a fan of <laughs> <laughs> understandable I mean if you think about it that's sort of just a praying mantis I'm a fan of the thought of making a dragon like um, kind of insect like with like insect wings those mm -hmm. translucent beautiful things Oh yeah, I've yeah. seen some neat designs of that, mm -hmm. like, like a along that thing. Oh, um, a lot of them are like, I guess, sort of going off of like oh, tiny fairy feature things. Mm -hmm. So very delicate, but yeah, there's some neat stuff you can make with that. I was yeah. thinking, I wrote fun boy. You're in a gunfight. What? Back here. What? I Why were you in a gunfight? I'm assuming there's Borderlands happening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, give me a heart attack over here, Kara. Yeah, I mean, when you're dealing with one of the Americans in the Discord, it's not always a good assumption. <laughs> Though I can say I have been in the middle of exactly zero gunfights. Doing uh, shit I have had for to evacuate Jack. to avoid something that might have escalated into a gunfight if people were stupid about it, but that has happened exactly once. Jesus. Doing shit for Jack hated. Well, that's most of the game, Kara. <laughs> You're gonna have to be more specific than that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, speaking of games, me and my niece got number two five times a day in Fortnite. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Are, like, well, are they like pointing to their face being like <laughs> I, was, I was thinking just like the sort of thinking they're going hmm but they might be going <laughs> <laughs> I I understood of like thinking, but now I'm looking at the sketch. It just looks like he's like touching his nose. <laughs> just like. <laughs> oh, Felicity! Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know why. Felicity. Yeah, you remember the the um. <laughs> That's a big. What's the? No, I'm trying to the proper word for what Felicity is, like a computer program. It's not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hologram. AI. Holo yeah, AI hologram lady, um, who gets put into the machine just as she has realized that what she really wants is freedom. <laughs> okay. Happy games. Because <laughs> this game is happy and nice, and Jack is a great person, for sure. Uh, do women have ears? Uh, do, what? <laughs> <laughs> do women have ears? Um, I mean, usually... Since dragons are based off like lizardy type things, lizards have internal ears. Oh. 
but I do sometimes oh, see okay. dragons with like a frill in that area that's like an ear. Oh, yeah. So like, I mean, usually they also have like horns or something else that like, like <laughs> visually takes the place of the ears, I guess, as in makes the face the, not look empty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, is. Yeah, usually there's like like horns or frills or ridges or something. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, it looks weird and empty. Uh, as as with a lovely example of stuff like that being uh, cats. Twenty nineteen. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. That like that... there's a reason. Why, with the stage act version, they've got, like, the big puffs of hair along the sides of the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... So it doesn't look weird and naked. want them to look like that. <laughs> I have to say, the nose is the button that makes the middle horn go out. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm ready for a battle. <laughs> <laughs> That's battle. Oh. That's battle. I don't think Dragonborn are even usually d drawn with like That's ear battle. ears. <laughs> nope. I Balls. no. Usually, I mean, <laughs> Dragonborn have like a really strange like <laughs> like it's never really clear what the visuals of a dragonborn are supposed to be but generally their faces are more dragon shaped so you don't really run into the cats 2019 problem <laughs> um, what you're saying is cats 2019 should have looked is made up yeah, they should have made them look more like dragons I mean, I would watch cats, but it's dragons. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> I mean, preferably not Cats 2019, but just, you know, the musical Cats, but it's dragons now. <laughs> sounds very cool. I mean, it sounds epic. Yeah. Now, the only question is, is this cats and the cats are dragons, or is this cats as performed by dragons? Um, yes. <laughs> I don't like that uh. question. <laughs> I don't know, something about a very large lizard trying to do ballet. <laughs> Old dragon singing memory would be amazing. Yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I prefer, yeah, it's, it's just, they're dragons, <laughs> you know, they don't have to be dragons dressed as cats, they can just be dragons and do the musical that way. <laughs> Fluffy dragons. I, I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see dragon versions of the cats. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> I guess. Well, there's, I there's, guess a, there's, so. there's an art challenge for you. I mean, yeah. Guess you, I ha I'm you, gonna you have, have to draw dragons. Team. Oh no. How many characters are there in cats? Can we make a month out of this? Uh, uh, <laughs> trick question. Many. <laughs> Technically, many. Named characters, that's a little easier to say, but, like, there's I a mean, lot of... Even that is kind of weird, because there's a lot of characters that are technically named, but also I don't think their names are ever mentioned in the musical <laughs> itself. <laughs> yes, there is that. The <laughs> joys of trying to make a musical off of a bunch of nonsense poems that aren't that weren't written with an overall narrative in mind. I just imagine like 
a dragon skimble shanks. Just a a dragon. <laughs> Just <laughs> a little hey, dragon train Please. conductor. <laughs> <laughs> also, they they need um, modes of transportation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Little orange railway dragon. <laughs> yes, see, you <laughs> get the vision, miss. <laughs> Unconventional nah. robe is just. Or the thing. dragon is the train. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Important so, like, question. Just... Important question. Top of the dragon. Miss has an important question. <laughs> Overalls? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, okay. it's one of the things that, like, Cats 2019 has definitely had an impact on in my brain. It's just that I cannot imagine Skimble Shanks without full overalls. <laughs> Look, enough p people online have enough issues with like, how do you put trousers on a dog? Like, the overalls <laughs> on a dragon? How's like? <laughs> yeah, you just put them on the back legs, and there's a hole for the tail. I don't see the problem here. <laughs> but then again, I I've also never seen the problem with the how would a dog wear pants kind of thing. Because it's like, however, it the pleases. thing about pants is that they go over your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong. Seen... <laughs> Are you gonna tell Dragon that they're wearing overalls wrong? Yeah, nobody would. <laughs> Nobody would tell a dragon that they're wearing overalls wrong. <clears throat> Especially not a cute orange railway dragon <laughs> who might be controlling a train and, I don't know, probably like using it as a little toy train. <laughs> it's actually just playing with a toy train. Like, <laughs> rolling it around with a train. Yeah. This person got arms. Yeah, <laughs> sure have. Gonna be strong enough to operate wings. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you're right. <laughs> Swole. Yeah, I don't know why okay. I fixed it. Fixed oh. on like massive arms very quickly, but, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> it worked. I also love that for like. Unconventional wardrobe, you went. <laughs> I went <laughs> <This>. mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit Mel, and also a bit what a Final Fantasy character yeah, would wear. Yeah, yeah, the belts. <laughs> <laughs> belts aren't helping. <laughs> Be belts and like. Bloody combat boots. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna do heels, and I thought, ah, that's boring. Let's do, he let's do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Highlights. Uh, they say hi back. Honestly, I mean, if they've got like a tail or something in there, having like a skirt type thing instead of wearing pants is probably easier. Mm -hmm. But what if happy? Good ghost bean. <laughs> also, uh, Chris, another idea for you that because I never give you enough ideas to uh, put on your list, but <laughs> the outliers, what their Final Fantasy outfits would be, like just whatever nonsense garbage they would be <laughs> put, in, <laughs> put in if they were Final Fantasy characters. I mean, that's going to highly depend on which Final Fantasy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know enough about Final Fantasy for that. You can decide that. <laughs> or do them all. It's not like yeah, <laughs> you're busy, right? 
I did I did immediately think Final Fantasy X-2, which I've not played, but I have, um, has has uh, a job system in it, and basically that job system consists of putting on different outfits. Um, oh yeah, the dress spheres. Yeah, the dress spheres. Uh, however, there is apparently a mascot class, um, and that's immediately what I thought of for M. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, just, with, with the guy dressed as a, a tonberry, why is the cactus just there? Oh, they they got little uh, mascots as well. They got like the one on the left has a little uh, mumba. Uh, I don't... It Riku just doesn't have anything. Photoshop then. It does, right? Yeah. <laughs> Stoic in his usual suit, but with an extra belt. <laughs> I, I guess that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God knows what Mal's hair is doing. Um... But yeah, now that I think about it, those three outfits are the, the things that were dolls as weapons in Final Fantasy X. So I guess they just went, and now let's do some other ones as well. Mm. Is this a you are fighting mechanic thing? Yeah, it, I, I think it's like... <clears throat> so it's based on the job system from like Final Fantasy 3, which is basically you swap jobs and that depending on what job you have equipped at the time gives you different abilities. So in this battle, I'm a white mage, but then in the next battle, I'm going to swap to be a dragoon or whatever. Mm. Um, but in Final Fantasy X-2, they went literally like, okay, this takes the form of costumes. You put on a costume, you have different abilities. <laughs> Miss, why are you not allowing Mel to have a weird antenna? <laughs> you might not have the weird antenna, but he might have that coat. <laughs> <laughs> but does he have the necklace that goes straight down to his crotch? No, no, that's not him. <laughs> <clears throat> Because <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> you brought it up. I didn't bring that up. <laughs> I know, but Miss brought up the guy, okay? That's it's not my fault that I linked that guy with his weird crotch necklace. <laughs> nah, that's fair. But anyway, coming 2025. <laughs> Final Fantasy X draw through, <laughs> where I have to draw that over and over again. <laughs> Here is if you necklaces. miss out on the crotch ne necklace any time, <laughs> my brain is part that. of his character. <laughs> my brain changes. And you hate him for it. <laughs> Sarah, is that Christy? My brain changes crotch necklace to crotchness. <laughs> I mean, you get, you guys get to name the character theoretically in the draw through, so you can call him Crotchness if you want. Real Crotchness? It's what he deserves. It, yeah. Right. I mean, he, he is. He's in a position of power. That can be his res yeah. like his respectful. Yeah, your, your Crotchness. His royal Crotchness. <laughs> his royal Crotchness. <laughs> His royal His crotchness, I do no. not want to see more. We don't. We already have a <laughs> character named No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unfortunately, this guy does not die in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> no dies in a car crash. We cannot name him No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Just Final six Fantasy of them locked on top of it. It'll be fine. <laughs> In Final Fantasy VIII, we, this was like a singer piano lady who we named No and who died uh, yeah. off screen in a car crash that we later found out. Yeah, we, we found out while after. doing the Fool's AU after the fact that she died in a car crash, which I, I yeah. have no idea where in the game it says that. <laughs> it just, I, I lost it when I heard that. So it was like, wait, where did, what did happen to this character who is apparently so pivotal to the lore behind this entire story? Oh, off screen car crash. 
think we all died a little <laughs> at that point. <laughs> and she died is, a lot. Uh, <laughs> time, yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is um, I don't know what their name is. Kelsey. There we are. Kel this is Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey, we like Kelsey. Yeah. Kelsey likes Oop, uh, no. his nose. <laughs> Boop. Boop. It activates his spikes. <laughs> so, maybe he's friends with um <laughs> women in <laughs> Final Fantasy <laughs> do be dying. Yes, they do. Is that the name that you gave that one tiefling character that got made oh, on one of these streams? That was I have Jesse stuck in my head, it's not Jesse. <laughs> so many Jesse. Ah, uh, miss <laughs> Carrie! Carry, yes, because Carrie. the the horns were a there bit like go. um Leia. The Leia hair. <laughs> Carry, my love. There we go. Car Carry and um Kelsey. Are uh friends. Good for them. Oh. Time well, I suppose time for me to give a prompt to Jeeb. Or oh. A ragdoll to give one to Christy. I don't know which way around we want to do. <laughs> I will give a prompt. I will give a prompt. It's fine. Cheeb, <clears throat> Cheeb demanded I go first, and thus I forced Cheeb to do things. I don't know. Um, What do we got? How dare you? How dare you have fun with this name generator. Or mm -hmm. not name generator, description generator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this one because I don't know how you're gonna like what you you've got a lot of choice here. Okay. Uh, you, you have a scatterbrained, extroverted, worldwise male half manticore hunter. Um That's a lot of things. <laughs> yes. They appear human, but their shadow is always that of their non-human parent species. So they, they have the shadow of a manticore as well. So good good, good luck working out what half manticore means. <laughs> How many things does a manticore already? Uh, th 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 like three? Four, four? Three, four? I guess it depends, really. The manticore is the... Yeah, okay. The manticore is the kind of lion thing. But the scorpion too. Yes. <laughs> It's not a chimera. That would have been even. Oh, I was, I was thinking chimera. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, scatter brain extroverted, wool wise. <laughs> so much already. <laughs> <laughs> Male half manticore hunter. <laughs> you wanted to draw okay. some f the freaky little creatures. <laughs> I did, so I'm gonna draw a freaky little creature. I don't say it. I don't fucking care that the, the description says he appears human. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll ignore that. That's, that's not fun for the art prompt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw a manticore creature, apparently. <laughs> half manticore. Ha half manticore. And again, with all of these things, it's like, what's the other half? <laughs> I know yeah. in a lot of fantasy games, the implication is the other half is human, but also that's boring. <laughs> I mean, give me suggestions for the other half if you want. Chimera. <laughs> uh huh, okay. <laughs> Just add more things so, to it. Add more things. Oops, forgot that shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. <Miss>. Yeah. <laughs> Orc. Orc. Yeah. Orc is fun. It was like having same fun. brain. I was about to say the same thing. Half orc, half manticore. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. I don't know. It's one just it's one appealing. One of their parents had a kink, but we're not telling you which one. <laughs> <laughs> just one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> The pressure is on. I know, I'm scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm reading through the Wikipedia page for Manticore under popular culture. And there's a bunch of stuff here about D&D &D and its appearances in Magic the Gathering and there's one in Adventure Time apparently and then it just goes, you know, Manticore appears in Dark Souls as the Sanctuary Guardian and then in the Ninja Sex Party discography uh, uh, sure. The Manticore is described as an antagonistic being. It's like, what? There is a paragraph of description to how the Manticore is described in a Ninja Sex Party song. Good for them. They're they're really getting out there in the world. Uh, legs. That's always a question. And the answer is <laughs> it's legs. Thank you. Legs? Leg. Leg. <clears throat> mm. Is it just that it's a lion with a snake for a tail or something? It's uh, scorpion, so. scorpion, like stinger. Oh. Uh, but yeah, basically. Don't they also have like human faces or am I thinking something else? Sometimes. Sometimes lion, sometimes human. Depends. Uh, that's why, yeah. Myth. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it can appear human. <laughs> it's... That's very unfair. I looked at, <laughs> looked at one of the old, you know, old illustrations of a manticore before they worked out how to draw people, and for some reason my brain immediately went, that's the lead singer of the darkness. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why my brain thought that. I believe it, I think, Carla. This is the good footsie. Feature from Mirror Mask. What's Mirror Mask? Look at them leg. I went with big arm. Cheap went with big leg. I might also go with big arm. But we'll see. Big arm for hugging, surely. Yes. Only for hugging. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this looks weird. They are a hunter. Yeah. You know. Lion. <laughs> Miss, what are you doing? What's no. Miss doing? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm seeing I some pictures. I didn't want to look at that. What's this from? Better mask, apparently. It's got. It looks real weird. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Well, I don't IMDb. know if it knows what it's looking at either. If you go, on, if you go on IMDb, you'll see more things you don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> This looks very early 2000s. Hmm. It's got both the floofies and the ears. I mean, it being a good film is not... <laughs> like, like this, this image being horrifying to look at has nothing to do with whether or not this is a good film. I thought it was a game. I, I have nothing to say about the quality of the film as a whole, but also that image is terrifying. <laughs> Rob Brydon's in it. What? <laughs> Where's Rob Brydon in this? Why not? Why find, not, Chris? I find Rob Brydon in the weirdest places. He gets beaten up in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? These thick legs are really good too. Yeah. I love the shapes. Chunky legs. Ah, not as bad, miss. You can do better. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> That's fun, actually. Mm. Yeah, 
Oh, how do I share this I picture? Start going. Yes, IMDb, I know you don't want me to share pictures. But I want to share the picture. I don't dare you want to share a picture. That's not what we're here for. But what if it is? What? Have you? Sorry. No, go ahead. Chief, have you drawn a humanoid with a scorpion tail before? It seems familiar. I don't think so. I don't believe I have. But maybe. Yeah, that feels like something that would be like specific enough that you would have either done it on purpose or remember that you had done it. Yeah. Well, unless it's for these streams. I don't remember anything from these streams. <laughs> you don't remember Gerfield? That's fair. Uh, I don't think I any of us want to, to remember Gerfield. About <laughs> Gerfield. Skorupi. That's, that's um, what that tails making me think of. What? Skorupi? Yes, the because Skorupi is a scorpion. <laughs> I know, but it's just specifically that. <laughs> okay. Not just scorpion in general, specifically that. I was like, oh, that's what reminds me of. Anyway, I also shared another picture from that film when I did uh, Buff Birds. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> they look like friends. Um, face. What was it? Half birds. It looked like I mean, some of Neil's work is just very bizarre. Some. What? What? I mean, looking at the evidence before me today, <laughs> I'd say it's more than some. Oh, no, look no. at it. I never fully know how to make <laughs> tusks work. <laughs> it's it's it, it's hard enough. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like I never fully get how like the lip works. <laughs> I like I guess you wouldn't really be able to like close your mouth. Yeah, I mean, in nature, there are very few animals that actually have, like, teeth sticking out of mouth unless there's something wrong with the teeth in their jaw. Yeah. Like, either the tooth is coming out of the skin, uh, like you have with some pigs, or, the it, yes, you have a long tooth, but it's being covered by lip. I'm gonna open the mouth a bit more and hopefully that will help. Tooth is gone. No more tooth. Tooth is back. Because, like, even elephant tusks, yeah, they're in the mouth, but they're coming out of the mouth differently from the rest of the teeth. Tooth teeth. Right. Miss, how how do tusk as resident teeth expert? How tusk? <laughs> Miss, you're the dentist here. Help us with tooth. <laughs> yeah. Teeth expert, expert on teeth. Resident toothologist. You too, Consider fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy. Uh -huh. We are considering it. We're just also <laughs> not sure what to do with it. Yeah. Is this a popular movie, Mirror Mask? I have never heard of this, Chris. Same. <laughs> Not at all. 
good. It looks like an early 2000s point and click FMV game. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a game from the first picture. And I would play that game on stream right now. <laughs> Not right now, we're wrong. How right dare now. you? This very second. You're so rude. <laughs> oh, Stephen Fry's in it, apparently. What? I mean, it's it's possible to have a stream set up where part of the window is here's an image and part of the window is here's some gameplay. Like, so uh, we could just have multiple windows open. <laughs> like when I played um, Sudoku when Celeste was being really slow. <laughs> yeah, but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> that was Celeste. This is added uh -huh. reference. I, I was even watching one stream one time where I guess the streamer mm -hmm. got bored and was like, hey, how many like how how many OBS things playing things can I add on to my stream <laughs> until it's just an entire mind flood? Now, now, granted, uh, they weren't, like, this wasn't a stream where they were, like, doing anything. They were act actively, like, had started with, like, oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do some change and some dev and some setup stuff live. That way I will actually do it. And then, of course, they just started dinking around and it's like, how, I'm going to just pull up a whole bunch of windows and play a whole bunch of different streams of my friends or clips of my friends and just see how much noise and nonsense I can stick on here before everyone just shouts at me to stop. <laughs> Hot project? Well, and then one of the friends got word of it and went, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull up a window on my stream where I'm watching you watch my stream. And then it's like, oh no, now you're pulling recursive nonsense. On that note, it is worth mentioning that Cuthbert's still here. Yeah. How's Cuthbert doing? Uh, he's doing right. Yeah. Oh, hair. Yeah. Tooth yeah, and yeah. floof. Tooth and floof. It's always very fun whenever you've got an orc character and people go, we're just going to give them the most fabulous hair. Yeah. Listen, this is part lion, okay? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I can give him as much hair as I want. Well, because, like, the stereotype is either they are very bald, or they've got, like, at most, like, a mohawky type thing going on. But now we've got some, like, romance novel hero cover nonsense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Fabio ha here. With the fabulous locks. What he deserves. Um, I guess I should give him arms. At some yeah. point. Which actually reminds me that there there there's a webcomic I read where one of the offhand jokes is that oh now it looks like people are writing romance novels featuring orc warriors. <laughs> it's like they have it. <laughs> Orcs shouldn't be able to speak. What? <laughs> How do orcs talk? With uh, what? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna quote Miss on this. Consider fantasy. Mm. Consider why you're putting limitations on things. Do whatever you want. In the world of smart. imagination. It... Sorry, I keep talking over people. What's going on? I'm just talking about Orcspittle. Orcspittle? This is what you find in an Orc trumpet. I'm glad oh, Orcs have trumpets. Tired. That's yeah. important. One. The ombre show is different, difficult to get right with the tusks coming out of the mouth, but if you can get it, they got some real good uh, diaphragm strength. Well, now we just have to have a whole orc marching band. 
<laughs> Depends on if you're a girl or a boy. When was that said in response to what? <laughs> also, I guess the hair? That's also, my best guess. That's a, that's a false dichotomy. It's orcs. On orcs, well, I guess it depends on your source material, but you know, some orcs are like manufactured, right? Isn't that a Lord of the Rings thing? Yeah, in Lord yeah. of the Rings, they are very like manufactured. Yeah, so who needs gender? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something with hands. Why must now? I does he have hands? hands or does he have paws? Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Oh, oh no! Well, cheap. I. Th mm. I, I think... Because hmm. I, I don't think he'd have paws, because I think... Like, the upper half is, like, more orcish leaning. But then, I think orcs also should have claws, and I think just in general, he should have toe beans regardless. <laughs> um, so that's the decision I make. But consider f m Mumba. <laughs> consider what? Mumba. Yeah. Mumba? Consider big Mumba hands. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is a good point. I... <laughs> you don't have to, but just consider. <laughs> what is Mumba? Mumba. I, I, mm, I, this is the first time I've seen this man. But, yeah, that is not know. true. They're in the they're in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> mm -hmm. I drew them several I've times. I've never seen this man. <laughs> <laughs> I drew them several times. I wouldn't say they're pivotal <laughs> for the plot, but they do they crop crop up at least three times. <laughs> I. Do they? <laughs> yeah, they're um, not Simon, his dad. Fuck oh, those guys. Yeah, no, I um, yeah, I I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know why it triggered when you said it's Simon's dad, but I guess <laughs> that's still in my brain. <laughs> I don't remember much about Simon's dad other than those little creatures and also um, I think he was just wearing like a Hawaiian shirt at one point oh, yeah, or something yeah. like that. I mean to be fair, he doesn't do much in the present time. No. Like most of, most of the character development that's with Simon's dad is with the like weird flashbacky playable flashbacky nonsense stuff oh yeah i think we kept making fun of the fact that he uh didn't fucking do anything <laughs> <laughs> how also, could they the conscious connects directly to the thieves hmm? yeah <laughs> It's the, the thigh to feet ratio is off. <laughs> Look, this, is, this is Tetsuya Nomura we're talking about. We're lucky they don't have a built in belt buckle. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just all I've been able to think of. I'm still staring <laughs> at those punches and then just feet. Look, even before Kingdom Hearts started to be a thing, just like the large shoes, <laughs> large feetsies just everywhere. At least with the Sora design, we have the excuse of Sora's original design was based very strongly off, off of Mickey Mouse. But like, FF8, no, you got no excuse. <laughs> I, I mean, I love it, but also I can't imagine a walk cycle. Uh, they, they flop their arms around a lot. <laughs> Hmm. Also, bear in mind that uh, this was at a time when their 
3D models had uh, very few polygons. <laughs> yeah, lots of squares. It was possible back then. Today they would take little itty bitty mousy steps. Hang on, I gotta get the, the obligatory FF8 uh, aesthetic screenshot. What is the obligatory <laughs> I mean, I think we all know. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's a different one. It's a different one. Oh, is it? Is it, though? Yes. Oh, I can only find ones that are comparing mm. it to the HD re-release. Which is no fun. Oh, okay, then that's definitely not the one I'm thinking of. No, there there is a sequence where there is a dance early on. Ah, here. <laughs> they're melting. <laughs> You're the best looking guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you didn't need, like, <laughs> HD graphics when your TV does not do HD graphics. <laughs> no, I get I know, that, it's, it's but also fun. he doesn't have a face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I feel like that's a dunk on Simon. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. We don't know what the other people look like. <laughs> Bowling pins, mostly. Also... Girl, that's some legs. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've <laughs> never looked. Slender man over here. Yeah, that's them. Yeah, you need you. Would you like food? We, we, there's food at this party. You can. <laughs> Where's your ass? This is a shot from below. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <I know. laughs> yeah, I. You, Never mind. Her torso is really, really short. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the problem is, I think, was there was a snapback, right? <clears throat> so in Final Fantasy VII, the overworld sprite, the old overworld models were sort of still, they were still sort of in the mindset of the old sprites, which were sort of designed to look chibi because of the limitations of how many pixels you could have. So they designed the overworld sprites to be like three D. Chibi-esque, and then you ended up with you know bowling pin arms and horrible faces. So in this game, they were like, right, no, we're going proper proportion, proper like human proportions, and they just stretched way too far the other way. <laughs> and now everybody <laughs> is made of matchsticks. Valid, but also <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> and then in nine, they went chibi again, uh, and arguably did a better job. Oh yeah. They went deliberately chibi. They designed it from the off to be chibi. I mean, when I'm looking at this in small version, not the zoom in of the face, but except for the legs, it looked normal. Yeah, well, <laughs> and with with a lot of sprite art, if, if you're doing it as, oh god, what's it called? Rasser. Yeah, if you're doing raster art as opposed to vector art, you don't always deal with the fine details because it's like, well, they're not going to be zooming in on this, surely. This is going to be on a TV screen that's like two feet wide at most. Mm. And then the internet happens and people mm. go, hey, computer, enhance. And the computer goes, I don't know what you want me to do with this, mate, but here you go. Enhance. <laughs> <laughs> I do miss like, like my 20 inch Panasonic uh, TV slash DVD player in that god awful uh, fake aluminum finish sitting <laughs> with my PlayStation two feet from it to be able to see the map in the overworld game. Thank you. I miss that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did, did I um, stop someone from talking? No. 
Uh, not I don't me. Think so. No, I, I think with that particular conversation, there's not much else to add. Mm. If, I'm very tired, so it's hard for me to to like um, focus on if someone is talking, and I'm sorry. No. Don't worry about it. I'm always talking over people, and I'm not tired. Also, I think I'm kind of done. Hey! That left hand is amazing. Hey. Oh, thank you. And cool. <laughs> Pen? Now, is it his left hand or our left? Our left. No, L for left. There is a distinction. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I like That's him. Yeah. Him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was about to say the 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 face looks like somebody. Who is it? I don't remember. It's someone I went to school with. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well. Uh, were they half manicure? No. <laughs> were they half orc? Not that I know of. <laughs> Did you ask? No. <laughs> Didn't think to at the time. Did they have to out? <laughs> also a good question. Uh, not that I remember. <laughs> Smooched our cheek and the man the hook. <laughs> yes, he will yeah. give it to you. <laughs> nah. Just be careful of the tail. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Gotta be careful. <laughs> I want the hairdresser's name. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. Anyway, I've added another um, sexy monster boy to my roster so someone else can draw. <laughs> now you need to draw them with mugs. It... <laughs> Don't read my brain. <laughs> get known. Uh, as we have said, get known, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on the other no. end of this. <laughs> no. Rude. <laughs> Righto, so I guess now it is uh, a, a cheap prompt for Ragdoll. Right. Yes, my turn. Now I get to put down the thing I was knitting. Break time. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to do crochet. <laughs> I, okay. I am immediately going with uh, the first one that mm -hmm. appeared, because, uh, yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm going to have to say this without laughing. It's not going to work out for me. <laughs> serious. Incredibly serious times now. Mm -hmm. The illogical, educated, male, half-dragon turtle sorcerer. <laughs> His wardrobe turtle is... Sorcerer. <laughs> yes. Five. His wardrobe is dignified. He appears as a humanized version of his non-human parent, but the result is very disturbing. <laughs> I just got oh, stuck I, I on know. turtle sorcerer. <laughs> I don't know if that's like part of the dragon or whether he's a sor sorcerer who just summons turtles, but either way, I love it. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> There's there's a class in um, Kingdom of Loathing that is based around turtles, <laughs> but the, also West of uh, Kingdom of Loathing is very much parody. <laughs> oh no! I do like, however, that they are an illogical educated. Yeah. <laughs> so like, someone tried to teach them something. It didn't work. <laughs> no. Is that person supposed to be a turtle, Chris? It, yes, that, that is a clip <laughs> from the... Oh, I know what that's from. That's... <laughs> don't watch that movie. Nope. Um, Nobody watched that movie. Master of Disguise, I think it's called. This is the, the 
turtly turtle enough for the turtle club clip, um, which is a meme. Um, and just when you said uh, a humanized version of the non-human parent, but the result is disturbing, that was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A disturbing humanized turtle. <laughs> I mean, you're right, though. <laughs> They do make a great circle face, though. If you can see Quaid, her father. That's a big turtle. Yes, it is. That's a lot. Is that dog poop? Where... Where is this from? I know it is. Who? Org. Miss, where is this from? Star Wars, why do I know this? <laughs> Not running story. That's why I know this. <laughs> I never saw that because of... After uh, the horse scene. Yes. Horse. Mm. <laughs> because of the horse thing, I never watched the thing. Mm. I think I had a for a very long time. I didn't watch it because the runtime put me off. It's like the... Like, the far away shot didn't trigger anything, but then specifically, like, the boy in the tree was like, <laughs> I noticed. I don't know why I noticed disgusting boy in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely so covered in mud, but I know him. <laughs> I know this man. I know this man. I know this disgusting tree boy. <laughs> I know him. I'm also allergic to you. It's It's been a long while since I've watched The NeverEnding Story, so I, it's it's very much like a thing for me where I could not tell you anything that happens, <laughs> but every time I see a scene, like something of it, I'm just like, I know this. <laughs> Maybe you just like listened and watched a little bit as one does, like, when they're younger. Age, got bits and bobs. Or yes, I also know this man. Oh, <laughs> Rack Golem? Yeah, wouldn't remember anything like off the context or whatever, but I just look at this and I go, yes, I know this. <laughs> I remember watching it when I was six and I have not watched it since, probably. <laughs> I'm allergic to youth. That's, that is sure a sentence. <laughs> yeah, a I mood. resonate with that. Sorry, I just realized my brain went on a tangent like five minutes ago and hasn't come back. <laughs> um, what's the tangent? What's the last thing from the tangent? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your last thought, Chris. <laughs> the, the, the last thought was maybe a gajif would work. That was the last <laughs> thought. <laughs> The thought before that was, how do you portray something in a comic that is only visible through motion? Yeah, good Jeff would work. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I came up with an idea for a, like an October and Co character, but then I realized that the whole gimmick of it was that you wouldn't be able to see it in a still image. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is the format that it's in. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd probably struggle just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I just had the thought of, like, most of the strips, it's like they're, the characters are clearly talking to someone, but the viewer can't see that, and then just... Yeah. The, um... Oh, have you seen the memes floating around where, like, it looks like it's just a still image, and then suddenly it's like, oh, no... Surprise, this was a gif, this was a gif, and here's a rickroll. <laughs> no, 
No, I have not seen that. There was another one where it was, uh, I saw recently where it was playing off of that. Uh, but then instead of the Rick roll, it's the Spanish Inquisition bit, <laughs> which was also funny. So that's a better one. It's, it was less overused. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition, etc., etc. But no, I, I was I was reminded of a game. I have no idea how old this game was. It might have been Flash. Um, but it was a game that was entirely static, by which I mean like TV static. But different blocks of static moved based on what was moving so like your character was like a block of static as was everything around you and as you moved you could see your block of static moving but if you just took a screenshot of it it was just static you can't see a thing it's it's all in the movement um and it's i it's almost impossible to explain without seeing it it feels like you're looking at an optical illusion um uh, probably basically because you are um, but yeah, and I just thought, oh, that'd be an interesting thing for a character in October and Co. They, they exist in TV static. Um, mm -hmm. and then I, I went through the thought process of, well, how the hell does that work in a comic? <laughs> you know? Rusty, who are these men? <laughs> who are these men? <laughs> can't find what I'm looking for. Um, exactly. But the... Rock Golem guy, I think it is, in the never ending story reminded me of what trolls are depicted as. Um, mm. Yeah, I saw that one. That was the Lelet Lele, 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 one. I've never seen this, but also somehow the art style was really familiar. And I this, don't know how or why. It's the this weirdest thing. <laughs> this feels very you know, like modern CG man... like DreamWorks almost. <laughs> it's, it's not that, though. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have a very specific image in my brain, but I don't know what it is or where it's from. <laughs> 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 Miss is the same, apparently. <clears throat> what was the description? Yeah, it was a turtle sorcerer. Right? Oh, it's, yeah, oh, it's but a also the description of yeah, educated, illogical yeah. but educated and the wardrobe is quote-unquote dignified. I'm sitting here going... <clears throat> I'm just gonna put him in the stupid wizard robes we have to wear at graduation. <laughs> what a board. I managed to avoid three graduations. <laughs> I only went to my high school one because I was in the choir and our final quote unquote was performing at graduation. Uh, the band had a similar thing. I, she probably I out. technically was there for my undergrad one, but I was half asleep and had <laughs> to get like nudged by the person standing next to me to go walk. <laughs> uh, they had it literally right at the end of finals week, and I was just brain dead. Um, and I did not go to the one for my master's because I looked at the time it was being held and went, I have better things to do with my life, like sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought for all mine. We we don't do high school graduation things here, so it's just unique. But yeah, all of them I was like, I have better things to do. It seems very boring oh, yeah. and quite expensive to rent room. So <laughs> What do y'all do for the last day of school at where y'all come from? Um... <laughs> Depends on the school. Um. So, most of the time for our primary ed, which is like six-year-olds through 12-ish, the last day of school is just sort of a, we have lost control of the situation, we're just going to have like a little party. Yeah. 
in high school, the last day of school is usually your final exam for the semester. Um, same with university. We have a giant water balloon and, and water gun fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and throw frozen caramel at the younger ch children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, which sure. is um, not uh, that that has been punishable, ma been made punishable because of some um, eye injuries, but uh, still doing it. Give him a tassel. <laughs> what he got the tassel for, I don't know. He's an idiot. Also, I just realized with how this is drawn, it's very obvious that there's no way that that shell is, like, actually attached, unless this is, a, like, a weird rover that has no back to it and is just, like, a one of those snuggy things. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a hospital, hospital gown. gown. Yeah. <laughs> Which we don't have here, but I know what it is. Oh, you were the only one. Oh, <laughs> this went to... Go for you knew one for your parents, and you're the only one out of the entire course who did. It's very awkward, very long, because you knew nobody there. Didn't do the parade through the city or go through any of the celebrations afterwards. Just sort of awkwardly handed your robes back and went home. Oh no, Miss. Yeah, I didn't go to like my uni graduation thing, and was like, no, not gonna do that. I'm not a fan of pomp and circumstance. Both um, metaphorical and literal. For me, it was mostly just like, uh, because I graduated at uni in the middle of like COVID, so it was like I mm. don't know anyone fucking here because I haven't been to uni in like two years almost. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't physically been there. I don't know anyone. Uh, anyone I know probably would have graduated their bachelor degree like half a year ago at least because I got delayed a little bit. I'm just not gonna do that. Fair. <laughs> Fair. The ceremony is not the important thing. Mm. The documentation is. Yeah. Exactly. I just <laughs> want was, to pick that up. <laughs> which was fun for me, because my university forgot to send me my PhD. <laughs> I, had to, I had to email them and go, Did you ever send me that? <laughs> and I didn't get a reply, so I went through their service of like getting a replacement one. And then after I'd ordered it, they went, Oh yeah, we've got yours. <laughs> so send it to me then. <laughs> I don't know if I was ever sent like an official sheet of paper that says like 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 the thing that you would hang up on the wall that says oh, I have a degree in X because for the most part it's never been a thing that I've needed it's so like whenever people are asking for documentation they're always asking for like my transcript which is a different thing <laughs> And also, I'm not the type of person to hang a diploma up on my wall, so it's like, I don't care. So I've never asked. Oh yeah, it's in a folder on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> I felt so old recently, I had to, um... had to get my, um, grade of papers from high school. Oh well, we, we stopped at, um... No, age, what's it called? Class uh, nine, grade nine. Um, and then we'd go on to like a mixture between university and high school, whatever. Um, but um, I had to ask the school I went to for my grades because I was too old to be able to just get them digitally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I, I remember getting in in secondary school. Uh, I, I remember getting going to the school and getting them in an envelope. I was like, "Here are your grades." 
Yeah. I feel like just getting them on online feels. You know, I'm not one for ceremony, but there's something fun about opening an envelope. <laughs> of like, ooh, ooh what's yeah. inside? <laughs> there is that. Um, there's pros and cons to both. One of the potential cons, especially if you're dealing with adults, um, is like, it's like, well, where did the letter go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I know, I know there's been at least one or two cases at the school I teach at in like decades ago, where a student didn't realize they were failing courses because the the end of semester, here's what your grade report is, letters were being sent to their parents' house, and oh. they hadn't been living with their parents for a while, and were were in fact fairly estranged estranged from them. Hmm. So it's like, ah, yes, that's a problem. Yeah. But yeah, there is something fun about opening a letter and it being something that's not junk mail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when was the last time you had a letter that wasn't junk mail? Last Christmas. Yeah, it's gonna say Christmas. <laughs> okay, well here's here's Ooh. my they look Idiot educated turtle sorcerer. Turtle sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. Graduating I, from sorcerer school. I feel like they're gonna fit well in the um rickety wizard tower th that we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Just a bunch of nonsense. <clears throat> uh, I, I did actually find the uh the blog of the illustrator that book but they haven't really made anything else like that so sorry two different yeah. conversations <laughs> yeah no oh. <laughs> i i found a blog for an illustrator with at least the same name so i assume it's them but like it was just like strange portrait things <laughs> so oh. i don't know if it's a <laughs> it looks fun <laughs> like abstract portraits kind of stuff <laughs> yeah But now, it is time for Ragdoll to give a prompt to Christy. Yes. So... Oh, yesterday. <laughs> Miss, Miss got the card yesterday. Yeah. And was very happy with the message inside. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> For a moment, I wasn't sure if you were serious or not. <laughs> Very happy. Okay, here's the thing, and I'm gonna again put it in the Discord. So we've got a melancholy, inexperienced female half cyclops watchman who fears people think she's a fraud. She has an athletic build. Her wardrobe is fashionable. Her non-human ancestry gives her a horribly inhuman appearance. Oh, uh, I, yeah, Cyclops. Cyclops. Is that half. just two eyes? <laughs> is that, it's, it's one and a half eyes if you want to take the average. <laughs> Not sure how that works. <laughs> Probably hence the horrifying. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, do I want to say one this? eye and a very melty eye? Do, have you ever, like, like Sonic? The screenshot. <laughs> yeah, like the screenshot, yeah. <laughs> like Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Just, just draw Simon. Um, yeah. Um. No, the other, the other thing I thought was. Miss doesn't look very happy. She's holding a knife. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. What did, what did he say to you, Miss? <laughs> Only nice. Oh, like the shared eye. Yeah. Like it's, Sonic it's, has. It's two eyes, but it's one eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the only thought I had. Feel free to throw it in a bin and set the bin on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then um, the bin has ever Okay, existed. I see. 
I, I may have hidden messages in everybody's cards. <laughs> may and, have, huh? And Mrs. might have involved a, a joke. <laughs> it's all so downhill you're from here. Your, your, your Christmas <laughs> gifts are all downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> it's the singular best joke <laughs> that we I know. Mean, I think... I think at a certain point the joke became how overused the joke was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because boy howdy was that overused. Yeah. And then we started using it to yeah. annoy this. <laughs> That's really overused, so yeah. it become funny again. <laughs> <laughs> Down right in the bun. Like, to, to be fair, the reason that was there is because I was like, I need to write our Christmas cards, and I, I, but I have no idea what to write. Mm, I'm just, yeah, I'm just drawing a blank. What, what the hell do I write? So I thought, okay, if I start with a hidden thing and work outwards, <laughs> then that gives me like a bit of grit around which to build something. On the 12th day of Christmas, <laughs> my true love gave to me. On the 12th day, <laughs> my true love gave to me. Are, are you going to be giving out a bunch of boars? <laughs> 12 horrible boars, 11 more boars, 10 other boars. Nine packs of wolves. <laughs> Eight more boars. <laughs> Seven little piggies. <laughs> uh, I, I've been sorting out all the vods for the last couple of weeks, and I I, I called last night's vod uh, a bot, a bot, but it's with, with boar in the. <laughs> I mean, considering how many things you were just walking around and then just suddenly, oh, it's a boar attack. <laughs> we sometimes we didn't have time to walk around; it just happened. <laughs> just suddenly, boar. <laughs> More, more! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we've got some, we got some shapes here. Yeah. really like it. <laughs> it's I good mean, I know shapes. I gave you this description, but also Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, you, you you gave a prompt that ends with horribly inhuman appearance. Mm, yes. Um, <laughs> so. But also something about having the oh, is that, that another like, eye? spherical uh. shape where the eyes go, and then the eye just up there, and then it looks like another eye down there. <laughs> Hello, fairy orb. Hello! You've come in at an interesting time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chris's time. <laughs> Welcome to Can normal time. If I want. It's, it's time for the traditional artist to flex their skills and make us all mildly horrified about the nature of anatomy. <laughs> I love it when Christy flexes. It's yeah. great. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. I love that you called him flexing. This is horrible. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, it's it's wonderfully horrible. Cyclops are always bold, right? Uh, not always. Uh, I mean... Ooh, beautiful hair. I yeah. mean, just give it more juice flare. Orcs usually are, but we it had a stop half orc juice. earlier. <laughs> they had hair. Listen, also half manticore. <laughs> the hair came from the manticore side. I, uh, that's just how they got their beautiful Fabio hair. <laughs> <laughs> what is a watchman actually? Uh, someone who takes watch, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like a guard sort of lookout. I mean, he yeah, doesn't it. sound like the right job for them, but I guess they had a dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
They have two eyes. I see something. How far away are they? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Depth perception minimal. <laughs> yeah, I recognize I recognize the name Varial, but it's, it's seen you here before. I believe I I was going to make the same joke I did I think the first time you were here, which was is it Fairy Orb or Fair Yorb? <laughs> Lo, Fair Yorb. Come yonder. <laughs> I don't know who Yorb is, but yeah, I think you made that joke before. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nothing if not repetitive. Um, to be fair, I was also going to make the same joke. <laughs> How dare you There is my... one brain cell present here. Uh, <laughs> Miss has it. <laughs> I won't claim to have the brain cell. The semester's over. My brain's been turned off. Oh, boo. Boo for sickness. Everyone's mm. been down with something. Yeah, it's that time of year. The most wonderful time of the year. Tis the sneezing. Tis the sneezing. I mean, it's always the sneezing. Always you say that every sneezing. time of year. I know. Because <laughs> it's always the sneezing. <laughs> it it's is yet to sneezing. stop being the sneezing. We've just got... There, there's different sneezinal holidays. <laughs> different <laughs> sneezinal holidays. That's a great count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, face oh, got yeah, tiny. No. Oh, yeah. face gone. Oh, it's back. Wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christy, Miss wants to say something to you. <laughs> oh, <no>. Cheekbones or <laughs> yes, yeah. Ah, oh, stomach bug. No. Oh, a little bow. <gasps> Miss, look, they have a little bow. A little bow. Fashionable. We're fashionable. We have wardrobe is fashionable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. The stomach bug seems to have been going around because my family has gotten it. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm happy, but <laughs> I'm also very scared. <laughs> they cheekbones or. Yes, miss. <laughs> we got it. Yes, they are cheekbones or. You're correct. <laughs> They're cheekbones or. Is to have stream company. E. Chill doodles and chats. <laughs> I'm glad you're giving them cute accessories. <laughs> because I thought it would be funny to have that bendy type uh, jewelry above the eye. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Mrs. Why is this making you see a new side of Christy? <laughs> I feel like. This I mean, to be fair, usually the horrifying, weird creatures are coming out of your hands. <laughs> I still don't feel like this is a new side of Christy, though. This yeah. is just what Christy does. This is one of those things that's going to recontextualize <laughs> stuff, and you're going to go back and watch old streams and go, oh, yeah, no, it was always there. <laughs> Because you, Jibby, usually draw the curses. <laughs> it's either curses or it's bahongas, and I <laughs> drew the bahongas, okay? <laughs> We've yet to have cursed bahongas, but it's only a matter of... So obviously someone else had to do the curses. Yeah! Exactly. I, before the stream started, I was like... I'm on my period, so either my art is gonna be horrifying, or it's gonna be horny, or both. <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> and I met the brief, and now I can go rest. <laughs> That's weird, because your real name is Christy. <laughs> well, I think, <laughs> I think Christy went with Christy, because uh, to, to avoid a clash of Chris. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> You Too all many... gotta battle it out. There can only be so many Chris's. Okay? This, is, this is like my time at school. I was in a class with two other Chris's. It was very confusing. I was with three, three Christinas. Oh, I you have think so I had many classes. double names. I think I had classes at university with like four different Jessicas. And we just sort of gave up and started calling them by weird nicknames. 
Uh, it's like we're not we're not doing this. We're not doing this anymore. Do, okay, do you want to do you want to know something? Mm-hmm. One of the reasons I went with crispy yeah. as a thing <clears throat> was because when I was in primary school with like three other Chris's, we had a little chat about like you know what 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 to call it, come up with nicknames to sort of call ourselves something different to identify each other, and I thought ah oh, my last name begins with a P. And it's Chris, this is a Chris P. And I said, ah, oh, what about Crispy? And it was generally decided that I would not be called Crispy, but somebody else would be whose last name began with a B, because in our accent, Crispy sounds more like you're saying a B instead of a P. <laughs> and I was like, that's my oh, nickname. That's just rude. <laughs> he stole your name. I remember from the age of 10 <laughs> wanting that name, and now I have it, so. Chris B also doesn't make any sense. It's crispy, as in you're a little crispy little guy. <laughs> I know it should be with a P, but for, in our accent, for some reason, it makes more sense. Sounds more like a B when you say crispy. You're a crispy parsnip. That's why when you start the video starts, your parsnip it makes a satisfying little noise. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember how I made that noise now. <laughs> Random by snapping a parsnip. I don't know what's the question there. <laughs> I probably I snapped something probably. It's always fun when doing foley of snapping things or yeah. bashing things against other things. Yeah. There was a web comic artist, and I don't remember who. Oops. I want to say it was Awkward Zombie who had put this. Where it was like, how do you figure out like the great onomatopoeias you've got in your comics and it's like well you see i spend a lot of time just dropping things <laughs> to see what sound it makes and then figuring out how do i write that <laughs> been avoiding this question but what is being drawn <laughs> what is being drawn is a melancholy inexperienced female half cyclops watchman who fears people think she is a fraud with an athletic build a fashionable wardrobe and a non-human ancestry that gives them a horribly inhuman appearance yeah, makes all sense, right? Quite a bit. Yes, randomly generated prompt <laughs> uh, from uh, the, the following randomizer, if anybody wishes to try it themselves. Yeah, Seventh Sanctum has a lot of interesting things on it. But loads. <laughs> I, was, I was put in the oven and roasted to a crisp, then snapped in half for the purposes of entertainment. Correct. Yeah. Of course, all this talk of roasted vegetables is making me hungry. I did not <laughs> eat enough for lunch. I should grab some more food after this. Roast some parsnip. I don't think we have any parsnips. I no. think the closest we have is carrots. Roast Chris. <laughs> I'm here. Hello. <laughs> eat me. Wait, no, hang on. <laughs> I need me. It's difficult to get yeah, things done. I was about to just say some very rude jokes, but <laughs> different kind of roast. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to roast Chris, but roasting Chris is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to roast myself. I was going to say, I, I need me to do stuff. And I was going to say, well, it's not like I've really been doing much. <laughs> Maybe this will get me to do stuff. Well, I did literally just before the stream, I finished the uh, 2nd October video in the middle of December. <laughs> so... Good. When do we get to see it? Tomorrow January? morning. <laughs> It'll be done tomorrow morning. It has to be done tomorrow morning because I've put tomorrow's date in it. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm done. Yay. Yay. <clears throat> Barbarian shield. <laughs> I'm glad they labeled it. Yeah. Yep. It Got it from the barbarian. And they just took a sharpie to it. I can't draw arms. It's fine. I like it. It's just. And there are workmen about to um, do an ouchie on a work. Because yeah, they yeah. are bad watchmen. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a depth perception. Yeah. And that's how everyone finds out they're a fraud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a fraud. It all they just worry Look, that people they're, think they're, they're really wrong. good at seeing things far away. They just aren't very good at watching where they're walking. Yeah, the Barbarian Shield Company. They make all your Barbarian Shields. 
yeah. for all your barbarian needs. <laughs> they tried to branch out, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> People buying ranger boots with barbarian shield written on them is very confusing. Yeah. But it doesn't say barbarian in a row. It got uh, really confusing when they started branding axes with barbarian shield on them. <laughs> Ended up with a lot of injuries. Yeah. I mean, if the axe is wide enough, you could try to use it as a shield, but it's not a good idea. <laughs> mm. Doesn't have to be a good idea for a barbarian to try. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Extra. Hello. What? Extra. Is that a broom? Extra. Extra, extra. Extra, extra. A broom. <laughs> <laughs> They try threatening to BS, but that presents a whole different problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're the BS company. I always think I think that about Blue Sky. <laughs> I mean, I have a BS degree, so. Uh, yeah, we've got a BSc too. Uh, in fact, I have a BS degree in two different areas. Ooh, two BS. Not the same as having two different BS degrees. Double BS. Double BS. So much BS. <laughs> you said that with the cadence of the Adams family. <laughs> Double BS. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, yee. Yee. Bar, bar, ba, bar, bar. Barbara Ian. It's barbarian Shield. Barbarian Shield. The off brand that didn't really work out. <laughs> X tree, X tree. Well, it probably is. It's made of wood. <laughs> it's an X tree. Oh. <laughs> right, we have we got a, we got a, another a quarter of an hour or so. Um, what do we want? What do we want to do? We do all things together, or? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you weaponize the hitman after. Um, <clears throat> I will weaponize that all the time. <laughs> uh, shall I... Sorry, I could also do this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, should we split the canvas into four and do it all together? Yeah, sure. We don't, don't have to split the canvas into four. No. Split it. Split it. That canvas. It's very thin split lines that today. But that, yes, that's wobbly. No. And then we claim our corner. Claim your corner. Your corner. I, I'm going to assume we're using all the same corners we usually do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the large mine. <laughs> Risk B. Uh, I guess the question is, do we want to be pulling off of the same description or each using a different description again? Um, good night. Ah, uh, different description. Different. Okay, so we'll go backwards then. Um, so I'll be giving one to Christy, Christy to Ragdoll, Ragdoll to Jeep, Jeep to me. Yes. <laughs> oh, this one's just cute. <gasps> cute. Okay. Chris. Oh. Um, in honor of Fairy Orb, you get a. But that's gonna sound really mean now that I think about it. <laughs> Don't be mean to our new friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how I mean it. It's because he's half fairy. <laughs> okay. That's the thing. <laughs> this is... Sorry, I just realized how bad this was gonna sound. <laughs> Uh, don't mean, 
don't mean anything by this. Just because of the fairy part. Uh, clueless, uneducated male, half fairy barbarian who lost meaning in life. That's why I was like, <laughs> hold on, I didn't mean it that way. As a white chested build, his wardrobe is risque. His appearance is that of a normal human, but under certain conditions, he turns into a member of his non human ancestor species. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not you. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. I just, I just it's like you latched onto fairy and ignored clueless, uneducated. <laughs> Lost no meaning, meaning in life. In life. <laughs> like, <laughs> I saw I mean, fairy and I was like, yes. <laughs> you've got a wide chested build and you show it off, I guess. <laughs> I just saw half fairy barbarian and was like, yes, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. I hmm. Um, What's half Katobla pass? What does that involve? <laughs> Ka <-wa? laughs> I don't Katobla pass? It, it, excuse me, but that's nothing compared to this half fucking nickel. Um, <laughs> half what? Half pumpkin nickel? Half pumpkin nickel? <laughs> P A P K E N E K O. Is that a fucking nickel? Oh. Uh, uh, is that a cat thing? It's too big I'm sorry, my weeb is coming out. <laughs> well, I have one. I don't remember who I was giving it to, but I have one. Uh, Christy. No. Yes? No. Uh, Jeep. I'm giving it to Jeep. Okay, Jeep's giving well, me the Jeep, fairy. You have a nervous, uneducated female half-Phoenix blacksmith who is considered the best in her profession. Of course. <laughs> uh, she has... An athletic build. Her wardrobe is mysterious. Her non-human non ancestry is very obvious and not concealable. Okay. Well, you'd be an amazing so... blacksmith if you're a phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. Um, apparently, I, the I... Katobo pass looks like a cape buffalo, and its stare or breath could either turn people into stone or kill them. <laughs> You say a cake buffalo? Cape buffalo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can also be based on <clears throat> the wildebeest. Um, and apparently it's a legendary creature from Ethiopia. Mm. Huh. I would like Chris <clears throat> to read this one. Uh the Craven <laughs> All caps. Cra Craven I a thin but a craven, um, no. male half Tengu <laughs> conjurer. His wardrobe is plain. His body is a mismatched composite of his human and non-human ancestry. There you go. I wanted to use to say craven like that. Well, <laughs> a craven. Um, the uh, Christy. Need a key. Ah, oh, good try. Um, yes, Christy, you have. I had to go with this one. For recent streams, uh, illogical, laid-back male half-yeti. The lock's badly rusted. Um, whose wardrobe is impractical and whose non-human ancestry gives them a strangely attractive appearance. So they're a hot yeti. A hot yeti. Hot yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Melted slightly. And if if it's because of their non-human ancestry, I guess their parent was also a hot yeti, which is probably how we ended up with the half yeti in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of hot yetis. Hot yetis Little. in your area. <laughs> Find the hot single yetis in your area. Okay, let's see. Tengu is... Those are the... Tro... Yokai. So I'm just going to give them a burp head. I'm realizing I don't have a lot of male poses. Hmm. Don't have a lot of the what, sorry? 
in my reference folder, there's not a lot of mail poses. Oh. Um. I'll take what I can get if I get a hot yeti. I mean, <laughs> bears are a thing. <laughs> are you saying bears are hot yetis? <laughs> Radical. <laughs> Is Bear here right now? <laughs> I mean, it was more in reference to the gay male subculture, but also. Okay, at least that was. If deliberate. a yeti okay. wants to become part of the gay bear, uh, become part of the bear subculture, that's fine by me. I won't stop them. Bear has come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Which does sort of imply that Bear is just sort of living in the walls. <laughs> Chewing on the Ethernet cables. Well, there are hot yeti, so there's insulation, I guess. Hey, bear. Just lurking tonight. E. Didn't have to come out of luck. We were just messing around. But ho hopefully you have a good time. I actually kind of like how I drew that weird arm hand. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> you said ye, Chris. <laughs> I said ye to like, yeah, it's nice, it's nice to be happy with something you've drawn. And then I actually analyzed the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it. You cannot take it back. Are nipples still um, forbidden? Uh, the, the, uh, Twitch has recently updated its policy on these sorts of things. For, uh, the artistic nudity is perfectly fine. Uh, so I could have drawn nipples on my work. Yep. Uh, I think they also had to walk back some of that, though, because someone, some VTubers went a bit far on it, so uh, do double check. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's better if I didn't <laughs> that I didn't. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what all before. they walked back and how they walked it back. But uh, to be perfectly honest, when I saw the initial part of it, I also looked at at it as a, you know, you probably should have explained what needs to be done with this, um, because while while I am of the opinion that I don't think it's a problem for people to stream things where artistic nudity is involved, I do think it's probably a thing where there needs to be a label on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, there, there is a label system. And uh, since this is Chris's stream and I don't know what labels he's put on this stream... Uh, I don't put I no labels on things. Th there, is, there is a thing that says, um, like, you know, sure. not suitable for adult, adult audiences and stuff like that, because... But I, I don't really actually actively put tags on anything, to be honest. <laughs> I probably should. Um, 
But also, I never, never know what we're drawing for these streams. <laughs> Like, we're never really drawing anything explicit. We, we're sometimes drawing things that are horrifying. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to make for this guy's wardrobe. I've just sort of drawn a bird with an arm. Where was this the hardest thing for characters um, for me? <laughs> you can do it, Fairy Orb, I believe in you. Eighteen plus hot single yetis in your area, but <laughs> but but <laughs> but <laughs> and that's the adult content you come for, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> what? And that's the day's dream. What the fuck did I go on? Nah, that doesn't really read as an apron. <sighs> Made him too skinny. No, we'll just leave it like that. <clears throat> I don't know how to put clothes on a bird. <laughs> it's a good question. Her uh, with difficulty, probably. Probably get bit. Mm. Oh, that's good, Fairy Orb. Uh, slow and steady is better. Uh, because it turns out when it comes to your body, making changes very, very quickly is a good way to yo-yo. Uh, which is not healthy. No, it makes you get very dizzy. <clears throat> not even an upward glance. <laughs> <laughs> Neog. I was trying to see if there was a, a handy abbreviation for that. <laughs> Oh, that's the name of my character now. Yow. But dumb, Yow. but like begrudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I need to add question mark, but dumb. Oh, it's on my long, 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 long list of things to do. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna do some basic color. I say color. Color. <laughs> like it's a dark, dark light. <laughs> I mean, we're technically all using a color. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Technically. Yes. Okay, I'm basically done. I feel like 
we could take some of the characters that we have made the stream and just make just the weirdest D and D party out of them. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Kind of part of the fun of these things. Mm-hmm. Hey, dark. <laughs> <laughs> Need some NPCs. Mi mi mixed match D and D party when. <laughs> How are you doing, Christy? What's there? Eee. No rush. I mean, you were asked to draw a sexy man, so <laughs> you're yeah. allowed to have sexy time. yeti. Sexy yeti. Sexy hot single yeti. <laughs> In your area. In your area. <laughs> In your walls. What? Oh no. <laughs> Is that fairy wearing suspenders? Oh boy. Done. Following the prompt. <laughs> I was asked for a risque wardrobe. Oh right, suspenders mean something else over there. Yes. Wait. Is everyone done then? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So. Zoom time. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Barbarian <laughs> shields. <laughs> I'm gonna carry the theme. Mm. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Also, Cheeb, I like how you've somehow managed to make it so that it's very obvious that that bird has no thoughts in their head. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's hot. <clears throat> I wonder if this sword is hot. Everyone. It's hot. Have... All of our characters. Well, it's this. Yeah, it's a baby. A... Yeah, Phoenix egg, yeah. <laughs> it's called multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> Do they, do they like, take turns? <laughs> <laughs> they take turns as the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty fire. So, oh yeah, I was making a weapon. Oh, where, the, where did the building go? <laughs> All of our characters are hot in and one way or another. we've got this sexy <laughs> yeti man. Sexy yeti man. Very statuesque. It's, and... His wardrobe is impractical, and he appears to be wearing hot pants. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me, that is a plain wardrobe? Uh, yeah. Oh, we're reading the wrong one. <laughs> reading <Shit>. yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, it's still impractical. It is impractical, yeah. Well, I mean, if he's a yeti, it might be perfectly fine for him to just be walking around in hot pants, even if it's cold out, on account of the yeah. fact of yeti. Yeah, but the half but human. But it's impractical for anyone else. <laughs> they're only, they're only half yeti, so they do have to wrap up a bit. But they're like, no, I'm I have yeti ancestry. I can take the cold. And they can't. They really can't. Might also just be impractical for everyone else because he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeti spent yeah, the this isn't on great. Wax. <laughs> this isn't a great outfit for anyone else on account. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. D. And Chris's guy seems to <laughs> be wearing, um, underwear and socks suspenders. <laughs> Risqué. I don't yeah. know, I'm not entirely certain what risque is. I don't know what the boundary is. That's not, a, not my area of expertise, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought... You were great at risque clothing and tids. I thought I knew what was risque, and then I got told to draw a bunch of outfits from a kids' TV show. 
<laughs> now I don't know anymore. <laughs> I mean, I mean to be fair, if I remember correctly, Winx Club is French. Oh, okay, that, uh, that makes Italian. A lot of sense. Oh, Italian. Even more. Well, I did not remember correctly, but I was close geographically. Yeah. Famously risque oh. Italy, home of the Catholic Church. <laughs> yeah, so risque. <laughs> I mean, I'll show this thighs. Yeah, That's pretty risque. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all things considered, it might be because of the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely risque if you want to go into a church. <laughs> they wouldn't let you. <laughs> Uh, on account of the weapon or the clothes? Um, both? Both, prob both probably, but the clothes more. Because <laughs> yeah. I know that the, especially in Italy and also in Greece, they are very strict about what you're allowed to show of your body in a church. <laughs> Which is always a little funny to me, because it's like, God knows already. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I thought that was an incomplete sentence. <laughs> God, so God, like, God knows, knows already. already. <laughs> There's... <laughs> no, God knows already. Yeah, okay. He knows what you look like, Chris. <laughs> uh, no, that's Santa. <laughs> <laughs> knows no, Santa yours. knows whether you've been good or bad. <laughs> and whether you're awake or not. There's yeah, the... <laughs> whether you're awake or not. Very specific... <laughs> I mean, if you, know, skill, Santa. if you know me and you know whether I'm awake or not, you probably already know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm either wearing no. the, the, it's exactly the same outfit I wear in bed all the time or the exact same outfit I wear out of bed all the time. Like, there's not much variety in my wardrobe. <laughs> the only difference is, like, is it hot? In which case, I will take the cardigan off. Oh, sexy. <laughs> Risqué. <laughs> Risqué. <laughs> No cardigan? <laughs> Come at me, Catholic Church. <laughs> I mean, that's, the Pope that's the is kicking in your even. door right now. <laughs> you can't handle this exposed shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. Heaven forbid Chris show an ankle at one point. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm usually wearing quite thick socks, so it's going to be a bit difficult. But... Yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you backed out of the last minute, miss. <laughs> miss, there's a space there. No! Yes, you gotta commit. <laughs> <laughs> We've got way worse than like the quote bot. <laughs> oh, the quote bot has so many worse quotes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it, that's fair. You don't have so what was that, Christy? The two birds are like... Um, stupid brain thought. Um, reverse mirroring each other. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. They probably shouldn't be in the same room at the same time. No, on account of the fact not. that one is a conjurer and the other just plays with fire, apparently. Yeah. Listen, she doesn't have feelings. It's not gonna hurt her. <laughs> Just the rest of the building that needs to worry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put meat fisting in. Yeah. We'll keep religion out of the quote, but we'll keep meat fisting in. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kira, please quote Miss on that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that for me? Also, I hope it's obvious that when I refer to the Catholic Church, I'm referring to the institution and not anybody who follows it. <laughs> you want to have a good time with your beliefs? You have a good time with your beliefs. You want to tell me what I can and can't wear? Screw you. <laughs> I believe I'm hungry. Hungry! I'm tired. Everyone needs hungry. to go eat. Everybody eat dreams. What? Pokemon what? move, isn't it? No. 
Time for foods. Oh, actually, Food first off, time for all of the layers. Time for layers. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's about to hit for the next. That cat is also hungry. He scream. He scream. He scream. Had no cheese. No cheese. No cheese. You need to pay the cheese tax. Cheese tax. Kiki is very demanding about the cheese tax these days. <laughs> what she deserves. Yeah. She is the Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ye, th thanks for coming along. Um, hope you enjoyed. Oh, your finger fumbled. Oh no, Kiro. <laughs> what and shame. <laughs> uh, but ye. Thanks for coming. Oops! Um. <laughs> Thanks for thank you for coming. Oh look, King Vader's showed up to celebrate what we've been doing. Um. Good. <laughs> As is his rights. <laughs> hey, King Vader. Um. Yeah. So thanks for coming. Uh, we'll be back, or I'll be back on Tuesday. Whoop. Um, Tuesday morning. Do we want to do FF9 Fools AU in the morning? Do we want to try and... Um, I mean, I will be sleeping, so do yeah. what you want. I don't, I don't Let know me to... check something real quick. <laughs> uh, no, right. I won't be there for... I won't be able to be there for Tuesday uh, morning. Okay, we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll do it on Wednesday. Um, I was trying to work out how to organize things. But either way, uh, yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday. Something will happen in the morning and in the evening. More ghost trick. Um, yes. Yeah, also likely to be sleepy. Yeah, she probably shouldn't organize things for when people will be sleepy. It's rude. Um, speaking of organizing things, we need to organize some chill friend times. What with randomizers mm -hmm. and uh, draw piles and board games and all the things. We keep saying, let's let's do this. And then we don't. So let's do. Look at all the hearts. Good night, everyone. But yeah, good night. I'll be back with the, when the, the aforementioned times. So everybody go get nice food. if uh, The food that you can eat right now. And yeah. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye!